Hey, what is up, awesome people? This is Shady Rags with Gotcha Back Gaming. And one of the things in Conan Exiles you're eventually going to need is iron, and you're going to need a lot of it. Iron bars are needed to craft iron weapons, upgrade to the second tier of armor. It's also required to build stone walls and many of the crafting stations. Needless to say, it's a very important resource, and you're going to need a constant supply of it. Most of the iron nodes are near the middle and top portions of the map, and about the time you're going to want to start collecting iron, it's going to be dangerous to get to those locations on the map because your level is just not going to be high enough to deal with many of the creatures in those areas. I'm going to show you the path that I take to collect iron that is relatively safe, and I began running this path around level 15 or 16. Now do take into consideration that your experience with this is going to vary server by server and iron could be highly contested on the server you're playing on. If you watch my beginner's tip video, I am going to be starting from that camp location that is to the left of that big statue on the river. Some things you want to do before you leave is make sure your water and food is full. I would go ahead and take two full water skins and some extra food and I wouldn't leave until daybreak. First thing I'm going to do is swim across the river to the island in the middle. Now I'm going to begin swimming across to the other side, and I'm going to stay a little to the left of that cliff area there, that big rock. There could be a crocodile on the right as you approach the beach. So if you do see him, just keep swimming to the left to avoid him. Once you hit the beach, you're going to start encountering hyenas. There could be as many as five in this area. Just take your time and move up slow so you can pull one at a time. They're much easier to deal with that way. And you want to keep moving up the right-hand side. My advice is just to keep walking and don't sprint. When you start sprinting, that's what gets you in trouble because it depletes your stamina. And then if you get jumped by several different creatures, you don't have the stamina to deal with them then. So I walk through quite a bit of this path. Once you're near the top of the hill, there could be a rhino here. You want to avoid him, and there possibly could be one spider. If you're attacked by the spider, it will begin shooting poison at you that drains your stamina. The best thing to do is hold up a shield to block the initial attack, then rush in on them. They don't have many hit points, and they're pretty easy to kill in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Now, I'm going to take a right here and start heading into this canyon. It looks like there are one or two spiders at the top of this canyon, but there are actually more than that. There could be as many as five. What I do is wait here until I have all my stamina, and then I begin sprinting down that right side, following the right wall up and out of the canyon. If the spiders begin shooting at me, I just keep moving. I don't look back. I keep sprinting until I'm up at the top and out. And at that point, if one does follow me out towards the top, then I'll deal with them there. Over to the left is the first iron node spawn, and hitting the nodes is going to give you both iron ore and stone. Once the node is gone, it does take about one hour for the node to respawn. I am using an iron pick here, so the amount I'm yielding is substantially more than what you're going to get if you're using a stone pick.
There's a cold node here, and then there are more nodes down the left side of this wall. You can hit the first three safely, but if you attempt to collect the others, you're going to pull the guards from the camp that is just around the corner. They are tier ones, and there are normally two archers there. Occasionally, there's an archer and a warrior. If you want to just totally avoid them, just circle around and continue along this path. There are three guards on the back side entrance, so again, I'm going to take this wide to avoid those guards. Make your way up here and along this back wall there are more nodes. Drop down right here where this cold node is into this flat area. There are a lot of hyenas here, so you want to make your way to the other side, slowly moving across, pulling them one by one. There's a couple nodes directly across, but I normally don't mess with those because there is a rhino that waters this area. So I drop down and then I go immediately to the left. Up against this back wall, there are multiple nodes that run the length of the wall. Just be cautious of hyenas that wander the area. Now you may think why not just build right next to the spawns. It is a good idea to eventually build a base somewhere back here so you don't have to make this long trip. But you have to be careful about how close you build to the spawns. I put a campfire down near some of the nodes, not even right next to them, and the nodes did not spawn back. I did destroy the campfire and eventually the nodes did start spawning again. So you're going to have to be careful about where you build.
I'm going to make my way to the other side and collect the nodes over there. If you attempt to collect the nodes up near the village on the left, you're going to pull four NPCs there, so I don't mess with those. After I've collected these, I'm now going to begin making my way back. I'll head back across this flat area, then go up here at the coal node where we drop down. Drop down here and then continue straight, staying wide to avoid the guards. Now continue around the curve to the right. Be careful right here. You're going to need to take this wide to avoid those two guards again. Now we're back at the location of the first iron node spawns. Instead of taking the same way back, I'm going to continue following this wall around to avoid those spiders. I'll drop down here. And then I'll drop down again. Now it's just a matter of heading straight back to the river. Place all that ore into the furnace along with some fuel. I would recommend using coal that burns twice as long as wood and turn that on to begin creating iron bars. 
It takes two pieces of iron ore to make one iron bar. And the first thing I would create with those iron bars is a blacksmith table. That's going to give you access to the iron pick. And along with that iron pick, you're going to be able to gather more iron per node. So I hope this information helps you out. If it did, I would really appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up button. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Later.